Hello everyone, today we are making another house in Oasis Springs. And today we are building the house just across the street from the land grabs. If you haven't seen that speed build, I will link it in the description and put a little card here on the screen for you. So if you haven't seen the cast too of the Lee family, you can jump over to my TikTok at Junksbills as well. And I'm gonna tell you like their little story right now. So the Lee family has three generations. If you see the people they're standing outside in the street, I kind of throw them out. I mean, they're in the way, let's be honest, but I'm building them a house, so it's fine. And there's also a ghost in the family, and that's because I wanted a ghost, like I wanted her to be in the family tree. So yes, I unalived her um, with sheets, but you know, I want to build the story. So the first generation is Wen Bo Lee, and he's a grandpa, and he, his story is that he came to America, or like West Springs, you know, it's, it's basically America, from China with his wife, and then they got their son, and he made a successful business in the new country, and therefore the huge house across the land grabs i mean come on it's not that bad and he is good materialistic and ambitious and i just made this family started out with making a story because i didn't know what kind of people i wanted to make so i chose the story tool and that's what i got and then his son the second gen, um, Charles, they got when they came to the new country, and he was raised to take over the family business, you know, very proud of what they built, and yeah, very much family-oriented people. So, he is materialistic, self-assured, and he's a kleptomaniac. Because I thought it was fun. I kind of missed in The Sims 3 when you had to have a trait which was bad. Because that's more realistic, you know? I love giving my Sims the clumsy trait because I'm also clumsy and it's funny just seeing them fall over stuff because that's what I do all the time. So for my downstairs neighbor, I'm sorry I drop things all of the time. And it's not my intention to I'm just a clumsy gal so Charles married Allison and she used to be a successful lawyer but now she's also in the family business and she's ambitious she's a snob and she's a genius and I haven't decided if I want her to be friend with Nancy or if they're like you know, they're, they're kind of friends because of the kids, but they just not kind to each other. Like, they hate each other, really, but they're, like, surface level, kind, you know, housewives kind of deal. Although, they're not housewives, but yeah. And then their oldest daughter, Erika, or Erika, however you want to say it, she's a rebellious teen. But her room in this house is kind of pink still, but she's like just going into the rebellious phase. Just like giving you some story for your gameplay if you want to pursue that storyline. So of course they want her to be this good kid. Maybe they want her to go into the lawyer career, but she, she maybe has other plans for her life. Who knows? She's hot-headed and outgoing. Also, I thought it was a funny trait. And then there's Tristan, and he's a preppy kid. And he's the one who really wants to be like his dad. He really does want to be in the family business and takes a lot of... He's very proud in that. And he's a genius like his mom. And then there's little Charlotte. She's a toddler. And everything is very pink. You will see when I get to her room. 
and Ishi's a wild toddler because it's boring. I just want her to be a little chaotic, you know. So that's kind of what I played out here. And then they have a ghost grandma. I will remove her from the family. I just want to set up her traits and stuff. So now we have made the shell and now we're doing the landscaping with the build. And I kind of did a combo of keeping the desert in mind, but I still want some more landscaping like greenery. And um, so it, it's a little mix. Um, the inspo pick I had for this house had more of like a greenery, like a lawn in front. Uh, I still wanted the little paths in front and I didn't know how to do that without the plants. And I also didn't want it to be like cacti and stuff like we did in the land grab mansion. So I, I think I did a pretty good job like still making it look a little lively and lived in. But not too out of place. So now we're going inside and I always struggle so much where to put the stairs, but I think I managed, like I managed like I did two tries and then it was good and that's like a record for me. I never do that. Um, also if my voice seems a little raspy it's because it's almost midnight. I have just been crunching this video. And I had a little dance break. That is kind of one of my, I don't know, guilty pleasures. I know it's guilty pleasures, but it's a little embarrassing, I guess. I love to play just dance and just dance it out. If you watch Grey's Anatomy, like the OG Grey's Anatomy, when Mary Death and Christina just like dancing out. That's just, that's my vibe. Okay. So I've been dancing. I've really been struggling to like go to the gym and be active. I still like haven't really found my place here where I live so it's just a shock like going to the gym when there's so many people so many people at the gym that is close here and I'm just not used to it so I get a little overwhelmed so I just have been struggling with going to the gym I have some like resistance bands and stuff at home so but it's it's been a little rough, but today I just did the dancing and it was very nice. So if you struggle to go to gym or something, just like put on some music and dance. Uh, just Dance also has like videos on YouTube. If you want like guided stuff, there's also like aerobic workouts and stuff on YouTube. Which is like great of following, just like moving your body and having fun with it, you know? Just a tip. Um, here you can see I'm using the tool mod in the build. And I use this hack. I saw Storm on TikTok and she's also on YouTube. Storm Designs, I think she's called here. Um, and she uses this basement hack all of the time, which I learned from her. So you make a basement underneath. And then you take an object which you don't want to use, but you want to use it as like a decor piece. But you don't want it to interfere with the objects. So here I take, took like the counter stuff, the cabinets, and put them in the basement, raise them up. So they show in the upper floor, but they're kind of a ghost object for the Sims. So it doesn't interfere with the seating in this case so your sims can still use the seating even though there's essentially a counter there too and then you delete the basement and you, no one will ever know why would they know no one will ever know this is the same hack i used with this cabinet here to make like the built-in fridge I, I just used that hack a lot in this build and thank you Storm for the tip. Like TikTok, SimTalk has taught me so much. I have learned so much in the last year. Like I didn't really even build that much or like I didn't build houses really. What is happening right now? My screen just went black. 
you don't know what happened but my screen just went black my computer basically went to sleep even though i'm recording and using a program right now so i don't know what happened however i'm using this hack again which i used in the land grab mansion which is hiding the trash bin because trash bins are ugly i don't understand why we don't have the bills in trash bins like under the sink like most people do i don't know i think it's american thing but still like why won't you even have the option to have under the sink trash bins well so i hit it anyways you can do that if you have the money trash bin because you don't need to empty it and then i made this little run run round dining table i just really love the look of it it just breaks up from everything being so square so these curtains here i still don't know if i like them that much because it looked so naked without them but it also kind of looks weird with them let me know what you would have done so this little area i just made a little like i make sitting areas everywhere like what i don't know what to do i'm like huh, just just make a little bench you know it's fine um i don't know if that's like realistic or whatever it's it just i noticed that that is my placeholder a placeholder is seating areas and here i made this weird i i don't know man i don't know maybe we just don't look at it so much it's like this built-in shelf wall divider room divider which i made and i want it just to look traditional i want this entire house to be like kind of traditional uh, because it's like Wemble, like the grandpa that built it up and everything. I just made this built in and I don't know, it kind of looks weird, but I also didn't know what to do more with it. It's just base game, so you gotta use what you have. And I used this more traditional couches and I just tried to use everything that is most expensive in the game. That was my goal with this, like. Okay, just scroll down to the bottom okay what costs most money let's put that in there as you see the vanity the toilet the mirror everything is just money maybe it's uh because right now i'm watching the k-drama reborn rich or the first son no the youngest son of the chapel house um which is like the directly translated title and today as i speak episode four is out and if you're into k-dramas uh, let me know what you think if you have watched the episodes that are out um and if you're not into k-dramas then i really love k-dramas <laughs> it's, it's kind of like um once again i Guilds of pleasure, but it's kind of a, a kind of hobby that I don't know. So I might call it obsessive. I just really passionate about things I like, and I watch. I don't watch that many more K dramas that I watch like American or something, but it's just different because it's not, you know, the mainstream stuff. And now it's more mainstream, but. Like not to be that girl, but I watched them since 2013 or even now. <laughs> no, before that. Uh, no, but I actually do like Duolingo and stuff for Korean just because I think it's fun learning a new language. If I was smart, maybe I would have actually picked up Spanish and actually learned it like good enough so I could actually speak it. Uh, since I did study Spanish for five years and like even more with my self study so but no just pick up another language which maybe we will have use for or maybe not um, but it's fun to learn another language and I think if I would have learned 
one more language I think would be good for me to learn Arabic or like Farsi um, it's interesting like how you need that more now I think for this world I also want to work with like immigration and stuff I study sociology now so it would be really useful to know Arabic and I also work with like Swedish for immigrants and stuff so it would be very good but I think it's very hard because it's very different from Swedish that I know from people who have who know Arabic or like Persian languages and then learn Swedish and how this sounds like we don't we have a lot of different vowels but they basically don't have vowels like different sounds that you just it's so fascinating because there's like different sounds that you make that build a language if you're basically born into that language and you learn it as a kid you learn to hear those languages but if you don't and this is why it's harder to learn languages at an adult age basically your brain just like okay we need these sounds and that's it so let's move on so when you're trying to learn these languages at an adult age your brain basically can't distinguish those sounds that's why like when i hear arabic i don't really hear the melodies as much as an arabic speaking person would do because my brain can't like comprehend them in the same way because i have learned different and they have learned different sounds as we use in Swedish, which is my first language. It's just so fascinating and that makes you have more compassion, I think, when you talk with other people. Maybe they don't have the language you're speaking to them as their first language and that makes you understand like, I don't know, it, it makes it go in like a perspective and it's fascinating. It's fascinating how our brains work. Um, yeah, it's the night and I'm just talking about everything and nothing and you don't even, I haven't talked about the build that much. It's a little pink up here, I think, for the girls. Um, and was it meant to be that way? For the toddler, yes, everything was just supposed to be pink and very girly and maybe she would grow up to be that way. Maybe she won't like like to be a girl. Who knows? That's up to you. I'm just uh, proposing stuff and building them up. So that's and and then I said like Erica the teen with her pink room. Now it's pink, but she has a rebellious face. So maybe she will break up from that. Like she doesn't want to be the good girl anymore. But I kind of kept her room still like, I just figured she just started to go to the rebellious phase. And this is the last room we are doing. This is the parents room. They have a built in bathroom. Do you say that? You say a custom bathroom, a <laughs> suite. Okay, whatever. Um. And I really liked how their room turned out. Uh, this is a seating area. I first wanted it to be like a barbecue place. And then I wanted it to be a like dining area and then a bar, but I couldn't figure it out. So this is a seating area and this is the house. I really hope you enjoy this. My rambling about everything and nothing and let me know if you speak more than one language and what those languages are. And I'll see you in my next video next week. And please follow me here and on my social medias. And be sure to like and comment on this video. Thank you guys. See you next week.